Well, the idea of the Commission came from lots of our conversations with people in local government, and what's become clear is that councils face this huge challenge over the next 18 months, and it's, it is a massive challenge. You know, to, to take, in some cases, almost 9% out of their budget this year and next, naturally what they're focusing on is it's that next 18 months, it's taking staff out, it's looking at how to preserve services, and that's where they should be looking. But the problem is that actually there's a bigger game here. Local government will have to fundamentally change what it does and how it does it. We'll have to ask really big questions about what are councils for um, and what are their services for and are there better ways we can deliver those. Um, now those questions we have to ask over a five or six year time scale and if you're just cutting now in a bit of a panic then you're not thinking about the long term. You don't know if you're cutting the right things. So when we spoke to local government what people kept saying is we know we've got to do that long term more innovative thinking. We don't have the space to do it and we're not sure where to go to get it. So you know, we at NLGN thought, well, hang on, that's kind of our job, right? We're the people who've always provided some of that longer-term thinking, who've always helped the sector to think through where it wants to get to. So the idea of the Commission was, over the next year or so, um, to do a really big project, to bring together some of the great and good in local government, some of the more interesting thinkers, with some people from outside, and to say, OK, we used to be about new localism, now the agenda's completely changed, so what's the next localism? What does that look like? And we think that there are a couple of really big strands, a couple of really big areas where we need to refresh the debate, and that's what the Commission will do. So one of those areas is models for the future council. Um, Suffolk's talking about becoming a sort of commissioning council, Lambeth wants to be the cooperative council, Barnett's the easy council. Um, you know, which of those models will work? What are the other models that might happen? Some councils talk um, about reinventing in-house service provision. So the first project we want to do is really to say, OK, five years' time, what are the destinations? What are the places local government might end up? How will a local authority look? What will it do? What will its model be? So that's one really important strand. Another is political leadership, because actually we've got these big challenges to our traditional form of representative democracy. People will be able to bid to run services, um, to vote for mayors, um, to launch petitions at the council. That's going to change what councillors do. And we need to do some work to understand how their role is going to change. Now, in the era of the big society, a really obvious role, particularly for backbench councillors, is in being social entrepreneurs. You know, shouldn't they be out there seeding social enterprises, seeding voluntary activism? One way or another, we're going to have to look very carefully at what councillors do, because it's going to have to change. A third strand is finance. Um, the government's just announced its big resource review. Um, they're going to look at repatriating the business rate. We'd like them to go further. We want local government to be much more self-sufficient with a wider range of taxes and challenges. So we want to do some work on that. There's a big piece of work to be done around local economic development. That's changing massively. We think Whitehall reform needs to be looked at because Whitehall's always been a big barrier to localism. And if the civil service doesn't change, we're unlikely to see a really sustainable kind of localism. And finally, and that's one of the most important parts of the Commission, is our work on the role of the future citizen. Um, we want to understand how the demands of citizens will change um, by restructuring the state, by pulling out all of this money. We're going to create new demands over the next couple of years. We've also got things like nudge theory, social media, the big society. What citizens demand from government will change quite dramatically, their relationship with government will change. And if we want to understand what localism will need to look like in the future, we need to understand fundamentally what citizens will want. So it's a big package, it's an ambitious package, but it really is a time for ambitious thinking. I think it's what our members are demanding of us right now. We're really excited about it, um, we're hoping to get it launched in May, and it'll run for about a year. And the aim really is that, you know, in three or four years time, people out there in local government are saying, well look, we actually, we did innovate, we improved the way we did things, we transformed our way out of the crisis. Um, and some of those ideas we got from NLGN and from our engagement with them. We want to be leading that debate about innovation and we would love you to come and help us.